What's up, YouTube? It's Christopher. New guitar day. Today we are looking at this, which is a Charvel DK24. Uh, what is it called? A two something. So it's a Pro Mod DK24 HSS 2. Point CM. I think the CM stands for caramelized maple because this neck is caramelized maple. We've got locking tuners that are Charvel, probably Goto's, not sure though. I put foam under the strings because I hate when you do a quick stop and you can hear hing happen. So that stops that. It's got a uh, graph tech nut. Um, it's got glow in the dark, lumen lay fret markers on the side of the neck perloid dot markers all throughout the 24 jumbo frets. This thing is 12 inch radius up to a 16 inch radius. I got the shell pink because I think it's stunning. It's a gorgeous instrument. It's got a Goto 510 tremolo with a steel block. Doesn't need to be upgraded. This thing sustains pretty well. Again, it's a HSS. It has Volume tone, five-way switch. Five-way on this does something really cool though that I like a lot. It's different than most HSSs. Down here, you got a full humbucker and these are all Seymour Duncan pickups. This is a SH-10, I think. I can't remember, but um, it rips. And then these are SSLs, um, single coils, but they're meant for flatter radius necks. So you don't have the raised pole pieces on your D and G strings. Um, very nice sounding, uh, but as I was saying, the five-way switch down here is full humbucker. Here, it's this coil and the middle. In the middle, it's the coil here of the bridge and the neck, so you get a cool telly sound. And then here on the fourth position, you got this one and this one, and then here it's just this one. Now, from one through four, it's all completely noiseless. That's the only position on the, in the guitar that gets 60 cycle hum, which I hate. <laughs> so this guy may or may not be staying, I don't know. I'll probably keep it for as long as I can tolerate it. Um, it's got a awesome tremolo on it. This bar doesn't have any wiggle to it. There's no tick, 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 tick before it moves. Very stable. I have this set up nice and flat right now. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh, the action on this thing is amazing. Uh, I, I love this guitar a lot. The contours on the back are really kind of huge selling points. You can see here, the contour for your hand is really aggressive and it's extremely comfortable when you're up on the higher frets. Of course, you've got the uh, super comfy neck joint. One of my favorite things is that input jack. The way the body is shaped it's pretty cool. They do like a cutaway and they put a fender style jack here so that your strap can come right up. Or I'm sorry, your cable can come right up and go underneath your strap. Uh, very, very cool. I love that design. A um, couple other things that I really like about this is this is a speed knob. So that volume just goes. It's very quick. The other thing I love about this is that the tone knob, when it's on 10, you can't move it without a lot of effort. So it's on 10 right now and I'm, you know, I'm moving my hand on that pretty good. I can get it to move with some effort, but it kind of locks in at 10. So it's not gonna drift down while you're playing if you're playing aggressively, which can happen on some guitars. But this thing is really, really cool. I'm very happy to be, you know, one of the few people that has this yet. Um, it's pretty much on pre-order everywhere still. I got this from uh, the Manchester Music Mill in Manchester, New Hampshire. I guess their Charvel rep uh, brought it in and gave it to them to sell. Uh, they posted it on their Facebook and I don't know, I think it was on Facebook for a couple of hours and then the store closed. So first thing the next day, they opened at 10, I was there to uh, grab this thing. I traded some equipment for it, so I didn't really pay for it. 
I uh, traded straight up some gear, which is cool. Um, but man, I'm glad that I did. This thing, it rips. It's a really, really, really good, very good sounding, very, very good playing guitar. So uh, another thing that I like about it too is the plastic in the back is all recessed. So it's all in the body. If I had one complaint though, it's that they use these itty bitty tiny little screws. Tough to tell probably, but those screws are really small. You need like a micro screwdriver to get at them. Um, so a normal screwdriver that you might use to adjust maybe your pickup heights or tighten your neck or something, they ain't gonna work. Um, so you'd need a really small screwdriver to get into the back. Um, one other thing that I think I'm not sure about is that there's no grounding paint inside the cavities for these pickups or in the back underneath this. I haven't opened up the electronics yet. Uh, I don't really have a need to at this point, but um, I'm curious about it. I'm going to in the future just to see if there's grounding paint in there. I did notice that this can get a little loud. You can hear a little faint ming ming ming. Um, I obviously have a, uh, a noise gate on in the patch that I'm using right now. I'm going to be playing through my Boss GT1000 that I recently got. I haven't done a video on it yet because I'm still learning it. Um, there's a lot to it, man. <laughs> it sounds really great though. Uh, this is a patch that I made for my band that I play in uh, called Jacuzzi Shoes. Um, it's a great all-purpose patch. It's got some heavy sounds. I can turn off the distortion and get some less than heavy sounds. I can turn down the volume and get some pretty clean tones. And uh, that is going out from the GT1000 to a Headrush FRFR cab, which is really cool. Um, it's a new setup for me. I really dig it. I bought one of the Headrush cabinets uh, and then immediately bought a second one so that I could run the pedal in stereo. Um, it sounds amazing. It's super loud, like holy crap. It's louder than any amp I've ever owned, I think. Um, and it sounds great. But anyway, let's hear how this guy sounds. I think I'm gonna go to a clean patch first uh, and show you guys some clean tones. You know what, this, this is one thing I find to be very impressive on this GT1000 uh, is its acoustic simulator is insane. Although it has that buzz, I don't know if you can hear it. Little bzzz that happens. You can't get rid of it. It's weird. Like I've tried a lot of things to get rid of that sound. But uh So I'll run through the tones. We'll go to the full humbucker with an acoustic simulator, but we're gonna change the tone in a minute. But uh position and then we'll go to the three position which is the middle and this no, no, sorry, on the middle position, it's actually the neck and the back coil of the bridge, which gives you the sort of a telly tone. <laughs> which is both of these guys. And then the neck. You can do this in a second home, I hate it. to my kind of my all-purpose 
is a bridge with a little bit of a gainy sound. Um, not too much gain though. <laughs> the volume it's pretty good position with some higher gain. <laughs> So here again is that telly position. <laughs>
I think they missed Char at Charvel is uh, keeping a single coil. I really appreciate these first four positions that are, are completely noiseless. Uh, me being a hater of hum, I think if they had put a stacked single coil here, it would have been superb. You know, it, it, it or or stacked in both positions or even humbuckers. I don't care. Um, nowadays. You know, I'm probably drawing a line in the sand here with some of the viewers, but um, I don't want hum. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to slam on a uh, noise suppressor to keep my guitar quiet. You know, I want my guitar to be quiet out of the gate. Um, so a couple things I can do to fix that is, uh, you know, shield it better. You know, put shielding paint in all the cavities uh, will certainly help to a small degree. Uh, but replacing that with a stacked single coil will eliminate all the hum and yeah it's not going to sound completely stratty but do i want this guitar to sound completely stratty i don't know this thing's kind of a it's it's kind of a race car <laughs> guitar this isn't your your dad's strat you know what i mean um it's it's a badass instrument it's got all these modern accoutrements to it all these modern you know the neck is insane i i don't know if i've added that in yet but this uh, roasted maple, it's not my first roasted maple neck. Um, it's probably not my last. I absolutely adore roasted maple necks. They're so smooth. Um, the playability of this neck is amazing. They call it their speed neck for a reason, man. It's, it's really, really good. The fret board itself has nice, subtle, rounded edges. It's not, you know, like a new guitar. You're going to sometimes on the cheaper models get that edge of the fretboard that's a little pointed off you know this one's got a good roundness to the to edge of the fretboard it's very very comfortable uh, jumbo frets i wish they were stainless um they're not it's just regular nickel frets i wish they were stainless steel that would be incredible that would knock this thing out of the park actually um but nevertheless i'm not a super hard fretter you know so it's, they'll last me for a long time uh, the nut is really cool. Um, you know, it's a graph tech, uh, true bone is what they call it. I think, uh, works. Of course I put my foam underneath here. It's got the truss rod adjustment in between here, which is the best place for a truss rod adjustment. I love that 24 frets. This bridge is fabulous. You know, I don't do a lot of dive bomby type of stuff. If I'm going to use it, it'll just be for subtle, you know, vibrato effects. <laughs> You know, stuff like that, but like it stays right into it. Um, if you dive bomb it, I think it will go out, you know, but I think once it gets acclimated to that type of playing perhaps. I don't usually use my whammy bar, like, you know, rah, huge dive bomb and stuff. So it's not an issue for me, um, but amazing guitar. I think really Charvel has a winner right here. Couple little things that I would personally prefer in my guitar personally, uh, that I wish they had done, uh, which is, you know, I don't need single coil hum. <laughs> uh, and I would love sitting the steel frets. Other than that, I think this thing is a complete win. Uh, check this thing out when they get into the stores because it's really, really awesome. I think these are going to fly off the shelves. I think these will be on back order for a long time. Uh, so if you find yourself in a position to try one, definitely do it. It's wicked comfortable. 
Um, the paint is like a satin paint. So it's very like, I don't know, it's comfy. Nothing on this thing sticks. You know what I mean? Everything's very smooth and like, it's sexy. And I love the pink. I think that pink color is awesome. It's not like in your face pink, you know, like, hey, but you know, it's a nice subtle pink. I like it a lot, man. I think it's classy looking. But uh, there you have it. It's the new Charvel DK24 2.CM for caramelized maple by none other than Charvel. Oh, my cable's so short. <laughs> I can't do things with it. Awesome guitar. Check them out, guys. And uh, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.